To me, art is a spiritual matter with its fascination with harmony and balance. My art is an attempt to maintain a spiritual world and as a door to a research of artists' deep thinking. My paintings are a spiritual adventure. I first met him was 1960 in New York and in an architect's house. And I tried to talk to him, but he was a very silent man with sharp eyes watching you, never talks. I think he was one of the most spiritual artists in that period. This is what Mark Rothko said. When I was a younger man, art was a lonely thing. No galleries, no collectors, no critics, no money. Yet it was a golden age for me or had nothing to lose and a vision to gain. Many of those who are driven to this life are desperately searching for those pockets of silence where we can root and grow. We must all hope we find them. I do agree very much with what he thought, because if you don't have a uh, loneliness and you cannot think by all yourself, you cannot discover yourself. In the end of 59, beginning of the 60s, I went to Italy and uh, I saw so many different art expressions. Then I met Cardella and we talked a lot about the art world in the West, the informalism, and uh, in the States was the action painting. Both are more action than thoughts. I was meditating how to do something different. Looking back to when Xiao Qin really matured as an artist and defined his own style, Western art was uh, in a very different place. And yet there is Xiao Qin moving much more in the direction of Mark Rothko, very rebelliously saying, what I really need is what Rothko described as pockets of silence where everything is very simplified, everything is stripped down, everything is taken to its absolute essential form, something reduced to a sense of calm.有做了一系列的东西是比较黑白的多一点甚至有些是完全抽象的Look at the sensuous, the even luscious brush strokes indebted to Chinese calligraphy and also markers of abstract expressionism. At the circles, the symbols of heaven in Chinese culture. And there's also a desire for balance, for harmony, for a pocket of silence. Their high toned colors borrow from both Tibetan art and Fauvism, which he was taught as a student. He tried oil paint, but he found it just too torpid, 
So he shifted to acrylic, then a new medium. With it, he could work fast as he did with Chinese ink. Neither simply Chinese nor simply European. They're both. That's what makes them feel so 21st century, so contemporary.我从开始画画的时候对生命的感受是没有开始没有结束